Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about a scientific name, also called binomial nomenclature. If you were to name these animals, you could use the word cat, dog, or frog. If you lived in Germany, you would use cat, hun, and frusch. In order to avoid confusion, animals are identified and plants with a scientific name. This system is called binomial nomenclature. These names are important because they allow people throughout the world to communicate about animals. Scientists use international rules to name animals. These naming rules mean that every scientific name is unique. Scientific names are also designed to tell you something about the animal's relationship with other animals. Scientific names may also be descriptive about the animal. Let's dissect a scientific name. A house cat is the scientific name is Felis domesticus. The first part describes the genus that a cat belongs to. Felis. It is always capitalized. All species that are thought to be most closely related are placed together in a genus. For example, like these cats. The second part of the scientific name, domesticus, is always lower, lower case and it describes the species that is unique to the organisms. Let's look at another example, a dog, Canis lupus familiaris. The genus is Canis and the species is lupus familiaris. How about the frog? There are over 5,000 types of frogs so the scientific name tells you exactly which one you are talking about. The Reina temporaria. The genus is Reina and temporaria is the species. There you go, a scientific name, two parts, describes the genus and the species. Thanks for watching and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.